In the near future, the damage to Earth's environment has caused a new ice age to take over the planet, and now humanity must live underground to survive. In one of the few remaining outposts, an alarm rings and yelling can be heard before two terrified people begin running down the hall, because something dangerous is going after them. They reach the door but sadly it's locked, and the duo is killed by their chaser. Meanwhile in another outpost, Sam is outside fixing the satellite dishes when he notices a few men come out. The sick guy asks for one more day to recover, but Mason thinks they already wasted enough resources on him and gets ready to shoot him, ignoring the fact the guy is asking for Al the walk. Sam interrupts them and reminds Mason that sick people get the choice to walk away or get shot, which should be respected, but Mason does not care and kills the guy anyway, saying it's for the sake of their survival. As Sam returns inside, it's revealed that because these few survivors live in a confined space with limited resources, they become scared of the common cold. The last time they had the flu, it killed 20 people in less than a week. That when their leader Briggs made a new rule, if someone gets sick, they go into quarantine. If they don't get better, they get to choose between a bullet or a long walk in the snow. The people in this outpost work hard to take care of each other and keep on growing seeds, but they are the hundreds they were in the beginning because food gets more scarce every year. There are rumors of a paradise with warm weather, but Sam does Nate believe them. Sam goes to see Briggs to tell him about Mason breaking the rules, and while Briggs is not happy with what he s hearing, they're a something more urgent he must take care of first. They go into the communications room and Cooper informs them they received a SOS loop from Colony 5, yet they are not answering any messages. Briggs calls for an emergency meeting in half an hour while Sam goes to see Victor, who is in charge of the livestock. Unfortunately he also has bad news. The last litter of rabbits was stillborn, and of the twelve remaining ones, they're only one female that the other rabbits don't want to mate with. Meanwhile Briggs goes to see Mason to scold him for what he did, but Mason still defends his decision, saying walkers will just come back and take their food. Afterward, Sam goes to see his girlfriend Kai who gets him some pellets for the rabbits while talking about her work. She thinks working weather modification tech exists and it's buried somewhere under the ice. So she continued to search for it with their radar to never lose hope. Moments later, the survivors gather for the meeting. Dexter reminds his wife not to cough, and when Sam walks by, he notices they aren't at well and tells them to go to their rooms, but Dexter says they are fine. At that moment Briggs comes in and informs everyone of the situation with Colony 5, announcing he lead a team to go check on them. Mason protests, saying they should not spare resources or people in these hard times, but he ignored. Then Briggs asks Dexter to join the team. So to save him, Sam volunteers to take his place, saying Dexter must stay with the turbines. Graydon also volunteers, ignoring the protests of his father Victor. With his team completed, Briggs leaves Kai in charge until they get back. Suddenly, Dexter's wife sneezes, and the people cover their faces as they step away from them. The couple is immediately quarantined, and Mason complains again, saying they should put them to the test, and that Kai can be a strong leader. Briggs scolds him, and tells him to wait for his return to decide anything about the sick couple. Under a snowstorm, a boy keeps walking against the wind until he's shocked to find his mother dead on the ground. At that moment Sam wakes up, revealing that was a nightmare about his mom's death. Kai comforts him and reminds him it was not his fault. The next day the team leaves on their mission, meaning they have to walk a lot while enduring the freezing snow and the wind. After crossing an abandoned city, they find an old weather modification machine, but unfortunately it is not working. Moments later, they reach a bridge and cross it as carefully as they can, which is harder than it sounds because of the damage it took through the years. They walk around the gaps, and Briggs almost falls when a piece of bridge breaks under his feet. But he moves away just in time. At the end of the bridge they find a car with a dead man next to it and a gun in his hand. When they take a closer look, they find the family dead inside the car and realize the man killed them all before self-deleting. After lots of walking on the snow, the trio finds a crashed helicopter and gets inside to use it as shelter for the night. Graydon is so young that he never seen a helicopter or plane in the air and he amazed by the idea. Briggs calls their outpost for an update, and Cooper informs him that Dexter and his wife are getting worse. Mason keeps asking to test them, so Briggs gives Cooper permission to use force against Mason if he crosses a line. 
Afterward, Graydon finds a dirty magazine, and the others tease him for how much he likes it. Briggs also points out this place is close to the spot where he found Sam, who proceeds to share his story with Graydon. When he was a kid, his family and other survivors were hiding in the mines. After they ran out of supplies and ate the dogs and the horses, his dad and other men went to the city to get help but never came back. People in the shelter started to die out, so Sam tried to get his mother and his sister to a safer place. Unfortunately, they got hit by a snowstorm and they got separated, so Sam never saw them again. He would be dead too if Briggs had found him. The next day they finally make it to Colony 5 and are shocked to find blood outside the main entrance. When they come inside, they can also smell smoke. The trio goes down the stairs and finds even more blood as it as revealed. This is the corridor from the beginning. This colony was